Welcome back to the 21 Convention 2019 of Warsaw, Poland. Our next speaker is a good personal and close friend of mine. He's an elite ambassador speaker of the 21 Convention, one of the first three ever. He's a veteran speaker of the convention, first speaking in 2017 and also in uh, 2019 recently at Patriarch uh, Fatherhood event earlier this year. He's also the host of the 21 Report, probably you know him best, and he has a huge YouTube channel. He is the most famous of the Bruno Brothers. Without further ado, please let me welcome to the stage the Sultan of Silver, George Bruno. A guy says to his girlfriend, ever since I laid eyes on you, I want to make love to you badly. She replies, you succeeded. <laughs> guy goes to the doctor and says, doc, I have five penises. The doc says, how do your pants fit? He said, like a glove. <laughs> I've, always, I've always heard that you have, <laughs> some of you just got that. <laughs> I've always heard if you can get people laughing, then you have their hearts and you have their minds. So now you're open to it. I just want you to know that I dig you and I believe in you. I tell my children that every day. I have three kids. I will text them randomly when they least expect it and say, I love you and I believe in you. I'd rather tell you that I dig you than I love you. So, but I do believe in you. And you can do whatever you set your mind and your heart to do. Now, I'm the old guy in the 21 convention, a senior member, probably the oldest. I'm not going to talk about pickup, because to me, there's nothing creepier than a 60-year-old guy talking about how to pick up girls. It's not that I haven't done it. I don't want to get up here and brag. That's not one of the things that I do. But I have some experience in that area. I am divorced. I've been through the pain and despair and hopelessness that usually accompanies that and was at rock bottom because of that and built myself back up with a brand new mindset. And I want to share some of those things with you. And what I want to talk about today, the title of today's talk is going to be how to red pill responsibly. You see, drink responsibly, gamble responsibly, drive responsibly. Well, I want you to red pill responsibly. And it's going to be like manhood, masculinity, man up 101. The very, very basic. So first thing on that, that contributes to being a solid red pill man is taking care of yourself. Number one, stomach in, shoulders back, chest out. Make sure your posture is good. I can usually tell, usually we do these uh, receptions, you know, like what, what we did last night up in the club there. And at the other conventions, I can always tell who the 21 convention people are when they walk in the door. Shoulders back, stomach in, chest out. There's a look. There's a certain look. The look of success. The look of wanting to be more successful. The look of being hungry and thirsty for more. Stomach in, shoulders back, chest out, posture straight. You know why? That's contagious. Billy Graham once said, uh, courageous, being courage, Having, having courage and being courageous is contagious because the spines of men stiffen in the presence of a courageous man. You hear me? Your courage in life, how you weather the storms is contagious to other men. How you 
celebrate is contagious. How you suffer, how you experience pain is contagious to other men. How you stand and hold yourself is contagious. I, I was telling someone, uh, Pat, the director here, Pat, I'm talking about you for a second, has the most incredible posture. Now, I'm a slumper. I, I'm, my shoulders are forward. That's why I speak about posture so much, because I'm a classic kind of man belly, you know, hunched over kind of guy, especially like with the, with the head, like always looking at the smartphone. And I've had to fight that. So I meet Pat, who stands up straight. When he walks, he's straight. When I, when, when I am in his presence, my spine straightens out. In the presence of people who have good habits, you adopt those habits. You stand straighter in the presence of men who stand straighter. You suffer better in the presence of men who hold their shit together when they suffer. You celebrate appropriately when you are in the presence of men who celebrate appropriately. Number two, keep your head high. This is related to posture. When you are walking, a little technique that I use is pretend the top of your head is skimming the ceiling. Like you're just like a half inch below the ceiling and you want to touch the ceiling with your head and you're skimming it and you will walk taller. Most of you can gain an inch by standing up straighter. It's a fact. Another thing you can do is, if you imagine yourself as a marionette, strings, and a string coming out of the top of your head. Imagine a marionette puppet collapsed, and then someone's taking that string and pulling that string up, and you stand up straight. Imagine that string is taut all day long. When you're walking down a hallway, when you're in a club, when you're in other people's presence. It's contagious. People cannot slouch in the presence of a man with good posture. So keep your head high. That's not only a literal, a literal directive for you, it's figurative as well, because you heard me say, how you suffer is important. Which leads me to this. Stoicism saved my life. That's why I talk about, if you watch my YouTube channel, which is George Bruno on YouTube, right now about 127,000 followers, a accidental successful YouTube channel that I never expected to grow more than a couple thousand people, to be honest with you. I started a channel on YouTube about three years ago about men's grooming. I'm in the men's grooming industry. I've cut over 12,000 heads of hair and beards and have done it well. I do everything from straight razor shaves to perfect haircuts to men's skin care. I started out working with ladies' hair, went to the top in that field. You can see what I do. I'm preeminent in my field, which means I'm the best in what I do. I made it to the top in that field and I said, you know what, I want to do men's grooming and I moved over to men's grooming. No one knew me. Not one single person knew who I was. I made that change about six or seven years ago and became one of the top 100 stylists in the world. You can Google me and within the first 10 entries, you'll see proof of that. The solid red-pilled man has social proof. Social proof. What happens when people Google your name? What happens? You are responsible for your name. Our friend Steve the Dean Williams constantly talks about women being worthy of bearing your name. Your name is not mud. Stand proud, stand tall head high, 
Your name means something. Number three, how to red pill responsibly is smile, don't smirk. I always tell my students, your smile is the key that opens up doors of opportunity. You can get more done with a smile than a smirk. A smile without teeth is nothing but a smirk. And what does a smirk imply? That you're up to something. Smirks are the look of somebody who is questionable. He's up to something. There's something going on there. A smile is the look of a man who's open to meeting people. Not just good with women, but good with people. The solid red pill man is good with people. You can go to some seminars where they teach you how to be great with women, but they left out the other half of the population. I know guys that are experts on picking up women, but they can't have brotherhood with another man. Be good with people, and then you'll be good with women. Number four, lead. Lead like a man. Lead. People are silently begging to be led. Don't reject people because they can't follow. Don't reject people because they can't follow. The true, responsible, red pill man teaches people how to follow him. Everybody has a different learning style. Teach your people how to follow you. I literally want you to say, say this after me. I want you to say, follow my lead. Say it. Follow my lead. Notice I did not say, listen to me. Or I did not say, do what I say. I said, follow my lead. You're not ordering anyone to do anything. What you are doing is inviting them to follow you as you model for them positive, gentlemanly, masculine behavior, male or female. Women don't want to be told what to do. They don't want to be told what to do. When I say to my girl, follow my lead, I see sparkles in her eyes because she is silently begging to be led. She wants that. She wants to be led. Now, this is going to be important. You need to be a man that's worthy of following, number one, and number two, have somewhere to lead her or people to. Did you ever ask a girl, let's do something Saturday night? Okay, what do you want to do? I don't know, what do you want to do? I don't know, what do you want to do? I don't know. What Make a decision, boys. Decisiveness is one of the characteristics of a solid, responsible, red-pilled man. Be decisive. Pick out the place where you're going to go. Pick out the activity. Tell her when to be ready. She's going to love it and love you for being decisive. Wishy-washy women disappear in the presence of a decisive man. Be the leader that you were meant to be. If you can't lead successfully, then take acting lessons and act like you can lead. Because I can't tell the difference between someone who's acting successful and someone who is successful. Because both will get the same results. Some people will just say, fake it till you make it. I get that. Calm. The responsible red pill man is calm. You bring calm into her life. As the stable stoic, you are calm. You delay your emotions. You don't deny them. There's a time and place for everything. Write that down. Delay emotions, not deny them. I don't want you to be a robot a granite statue that has no feelings. You bring calm to the rough seas of her life.
Who here is a father? Okay, you know, if you watched uh, some of my videos, uh, especially my interviews with uh, Sean T. Smith and Tanner Guzzi, we talked about calming rituals with our children. You learn to help calm your children's fears, and you give them the tools they need to be able to calm themselves as they get older. The responsible red-pilled man is calm. You are the immovable lighthouse, her foundation, although you're not rescuing her at the risk of being called a white knight or Captain save -ho, which we are not. We don't rescue people. We are the rock. If you've ever gone out fishing and you get seasick, what's one of the things they tell you? Find a stationary, immovable object at shore and look at that. Look at the lighthouse. Look at the rocks. Look at a structure on the shore. And all of a sudden, the seasickness starts to calm. If you focus on the waves and the boat doing this, you're going to have your head overboard and you'll be throwing up. Be worthy of looking at. Be, be the rock. Be the lighthouse in her life. If that's where you are in life right now. If there's not a woman in your life, then be it for your family, be it for your friends, be it for your coworkers. I've noticed a change in uh, the news these days in the United States and that weather has now become news. You watch, the storms are coming. Get water, milk, bread. Batten down the hatches. It's, everything's a crisis. Everyone talking about the weather. Going to be a hot one today. Going to be a cold one today. You are firm. You are the rock for your coworkers. You are immovable. You are the lighthouse of calm in people's lives. Number six.